Good afternoon. I'm out of here once again with my marketing video. I was listening today, actually I was reading this time, the blog post by a well-known copywriter, and he's very good at what he does, and his question was, is your pitch funny enough, or are you being funny enough in your in your writing and so on? And he went on to say that it's a bad idea to try to be funny. Number one, you're probably not, and number two, most people don't have a sense of humor. Apparently, there was a study on this, and they found that a very large percentage of people really don't have a sense of humor. So not only are you fighting uphill to try to be funny with people who think you're not, but most of them, most of them don't even have a sense of humor at all. So you're going to lose no matter what you do, pretty much is what he was saying. And I thought about it, and I thought, you know, when I'm hanging around with people, I'll make quips and little jokes and everything that I think are funny, and sometimes they laugh, and sometimes they don't. But when it comes to writing, whether it's a blog post or an ad or sales letter or whatever it is, email, I don't remember ever trying to be funny in any of that. Now, email, I'll say things that just make up words and talk about things the way I do because it's just the way I am. That's who I am. But I don't really do it to be funny. I don't expect other people to get a big laugh out of it or anything like that. But what this question does is it makes me think about all, most people, marketers is what I'm generally talking about though. They believe that there are magic words, that there are things they can say that will get people to buy what they're selling. And there are terms that bring up negative feelings and so on that are not quite as good as, as other words you might use, but there is no magic formula for say this and people buy your stuff. A lot of times there's overlap, but there is so much going on that there's no way you know it all. For instance, I have a market that I'm serving and there's a niche in that market that I concentrate on and I talk to the people there that are on my list so I'm writing them an email and I'm talking about certain things at a certain time relating to whatever's going on in the entire world. And these are people that I talk to. They're used to the way I am and how I talk to them and so on. So I write an ad or email to them and nail it. And all of a sudden I get this big rush of sales and everything's awesome. Well, the first thing that most wannabe gurus do is put this out. I was like, oh, I wrote this email that was so great. I got buku sales and everything like this. They do it with headlines. They do it with ads. They do it with emails. And none of it matters. It's all a load of crap. Because if, in fact, it would work for yours, it would, it would just be so... It'd be like finding two identical snowflakes. <laughs> something on that level where there's no way you can predict how anything works and it's this concept this concept of you do things a certain way you get the right answer and make a ton of money which kills most people who go into business for themselves especially the easy ones like internet marketing affiliate network marketing stuff like that because it, it's such a low barrier to entry and all they can see is the guy up there at the top saying, all you have to do is place an ad and this stuff will sell itself and you'll make it a whole bunch of money. And it just does not work that way. And most people do not ever get to the point where they understand that in order to be able to influence people, they've got to trust you. They've got to know from experience that you know what you're talking about. And they've got to... Take your word for things. For instance, I have friends where I tell them, hey, man, you got to check this out. They'll do it because of who I am. They know enough about me to say, hey, 
he's probably going to tell me about something that I would be interested in because he knows me. And that's the type of relationship you're going to have. There are people that I listen to, marketers, and all I got to do is say, go try this. I'm in. I'm done because I know who they are and what they're about and what their philosophy is. And I've been getting emails from them daily for three years or whatever. Yeah. Dude tells me, hey, you know what? I did this and had this killer result. This is what I was doing. So if you're interested in that, you might want to check it out. I'm done. I'm I'm in. I'm just going to go ahead and try it. And that is the relationship that you're attempting to build with your customers. Now, in an ad, it's not quite the same thing. But everything leads to email anyway. That's how you're going to do that communication on a daily basis to make that friendship, that that uh, the relationship, however you want to put it, grow. So they get people get to the point where they just take your word for stuff. That is what you're after. And if you're not being trustworthy enough and giving them the straight scoop all the time so that you can have that, well, shame on you anyway. And you're really never going to hit the heights that you might if you develop that. That's what I got for today. I will see you tomorrow. I'm out.